So far, we have learned about the dependency injection, but we have used other terms along the way interchangeably. You might also encounter these terms when you read the documentations and articles about dependency injection in the other websites or videos. Terms like IOC, IOC container, the Hollywood principle, container, web container, or lightweight container. The term dependency injection was coined by Martin Fowler to explain some common characteristics of the tooling in the time, which he boiled it down to this statement that dependency injection is same as service locator pattern, but instead of you calling and being coupled uh, to the service locator, uh, it inverts the control and itself, the tool itself provides the dependencies to the dependence. But the inversion of control, as he emphasizes himself in another article of his, is not limited to automated dependency injection. In this article, he refers to the original paper by Ralph Johnson that coined the term IOC or inversion of control. There he explains that the main differences between library and framework is that library is a set of classes uh, that your main application controls and use them. But frameworks themselves seems to be the main program in coordinating and running the application. So frameworks provide special places to hook your logic in and insert your code that will be called by them at the designated place and time. So the control and the sequence of execution is inverted and managed by the framework. In that sense, the dependency injection tool is a subset of IOC tools. So other examples for IOC would be the framework running the tests written by you for different purposes, or the framework calling your custom logic passed to event handlers when the mouse is clicked or the key is pressed. So by inversion of control, you don't get to choose when your logic should be executed and you just hook and hand your logic to the framework. In the same article, he refers to some paper that defines the Hollywood principle with this slogan that says, don't call us, we'll call you. This principle is more equivalent to the broader uh, IOC term rather than the specific dependency injection. The term container is also used widely instead of dependency injection tool. And it comes with multiple prefixes like IOC container, web container, or lightweight container. Because the dependency injector tool is configured by the programmer to find all objects and services, and because it is configured to wire the objects together, they come with the name of container sometimes. The Spring Framework calls it application context in that sense.